Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good night whenever you're watching this video. My name is Joyce McTeer. I am the owner and operator of La Georgia Creation Designs. I'm coming to you all today with a pop-up special on a DIY cardboard or postal board earrings, okay? Here are the items that you are going to need in order to achieve the look of the earring that uh, you saw. Okay, first of all, y'all, <sighs> here we go. You're going to need some Aileen's Tacky Glue. Now, you can use this. It's completely up to you. I'm using two different. I'm really not going to be using this. I'm going to be using this as a sealant, but I'm not going to be using it to glue my cardboard pieces or my poster board pieces together, okay? I am going to be using some fusible web. Y'all know that I love this stuff. This stuff is awesome. Please go get you some fusible web, okay? Uh, you will need some chain. This is the chain that I am going to be using. I got this chain. I don't know what happened to the top part of it. It was a top part. Anyway, I got this chain from Michaels. And it's very, very light. You hear that? It's very light. It's not heavy at all. Okay? So it will not weigh the ear down. You're going to need some... 16 gauge wire and I'm using this wire because I want to show y'all how to make your own jump rings and I know most of y'all are probably probably already know how to but this is just just in case you don't have any jump rings because this project you are going to need about four jump rings okay per earring you're going to need some round nose pliers your e6000 you're going to need a large needle Okay, you're going to need something that has, that's a, that's, that's, con that's pretty big. Okay, so that because we're going to be using this to make the holes, to put the holes in our cardboard. Okay, you're going to need two fish hooks. You're going to need some 12 gauge aluminum wire. You're going to need two pieces of 12 gauge aluminum wire. You're also going to need a dowel. You're going to need some wire cutters. You're going to need some scissors. Uh, these are some gems right here. It's completely up to you. You don't have to use these if you don't want to, but I will be using uh, some gems from here. You're going to need a pen, pencil, whatever you need, whatever you have to trace. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need some cardstock. And this is some cardstock that I got from Walmart. Okay. I like this because it's thick and that's what I like and this has uh, a, this is like a glitter it has glitter all over it not all cardstock has have glitter some of it is just uh, like regular postal board it doesn't have you know anything on it at all but this is what I want it because it's a certain particular look that I want to achieve so you're gonna need a piece of this uh, I couldn't find the size of a top that I I couldn't find something a circle with a circle that it was a, it was a certain size that I wanted. The size of this earring is going to be the size of the the cardstock uh, circle is going to be four centimeters. It's going to be four centimeters. Okay, so that's why I say you need your ruler because you're going to measure once you once you cut it out, it should measure four centimeters okay you're going to need uh, a tissue or something to wipe your fingers on because i am going to be using my tacky glue and that is it so we're going to go ahead and get started so the very first thing that i want to show y'all how to make is i want to show y'all how to make some jump rings because like i said we are going to need four jump rings so basically I'm going to take my 16 gauge wire right here and I'm going to measure out maybe about, let's see, I'm going to measure out about six inches, okay? I'm going to cut, no, let's do seven. I'm going to cut out seven, measure out seven inches. 
I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna use my wire cutters to snip this right there. And then I'm gonna take my dowel, and you can find these dowels at Walmart. This is really, really small. Okay, and I'm going to take my my uh, my wire, place it under my dowel, and start wrapping it just like this. You want to make sure that everything is together as you're wrapping it. You want to make sure that your spirals and everything are in close proximity of each other, and that's what you want to have. Okay, and then we're just going to take this off our dowel and we're going to snip off some of these edges right here. So we're going to snip that off and we're going to snip. Snip this piece off. Okay, and then all you're going to have left is that right there. So basically, what you're going to do next is you're going to take your wire cutters and you're just going to start snipping each piece one at a time. And the thicker your wire is, because 16 gauge is really thick, it's something to work with too. But it will make, it makes the best jump rings. Okay, the best jump rings. Okay, and let me see here. There you go. So, let's see. So, one more, and that would have, we would have had enough. You would have had enough for both earrings. So, you might want to cut out about, pretty. you probably want to cut out about maybe 8 inches of that 16 gauge wire. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little piece right here this is a medicine cap top and we just want to make some circles okay so i'm going to make two circles because i want a piece in the front and a piece in the back and the next thing i'm going to do ladies and gentlemen is i'm going to cut these out and i will be back okay ladies and gentlemen so i'm back so basically i have cut out both of my pieces right here and I'm going to I want to put these two together like this to wait to make one whole piece okay so basically what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using some fusible web like I said before and basically I'm going to take one now you can use the tacky glue but what you the thing about when you use the glue is once you put the glue in between you're going to have to let it dry okay and that's going to take some time so i am cheating <laughs> and i'm going to use the fusible web and all you want to do is take three pieces of your fusible web put it in between it doesn't have to be anything fancy and you want to put these two pieces together just like this and like I said you can use the glue you can use a hot you can use a hot glue gun as well if you like to and then I'm just going to cut around these two pieces just like this okay I'm going to that all right and so this is pretty much what you are going to have now the next thing I'm going to do ladies and gentlemen is I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it over to my on I'm going to put it down on something you know the on cover and then I'm going to take a piece of cloth and cover it something really really thin 
like something cotton and cover it and then put my on over top of it, okay? When you put the on over top of it, you want it to steam. You want it, you want the steam to come out and hit it so that it, it can stitch the fusible web. I was going to say stitch witchery. This fusible web is just like glue. When it gets hot, it, it melts. It turns into, it's an adhesive. So it turns into, it doesn't turn into glue, but it turns into a substance that's sticky. And it will um, make these two pieces, they will, it will fuse these two pieces together, the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go do that, and I will be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm back. So once you do that, this is hard. Like when I say hard, I mean this is hard, okay? You can hardly move it. It's nice and stiff, and that is what you want, okay? So the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to go around my edges with a little bit of glue using my finger, and I'm going around the edges and I'm using this uh, Aileen's Tacky Glue because this Aileen Tacky Glue, when it dry, it will dry clear. So you really don't have to worry about it messing up your earring. I'm only doing this because you want, it, you want to make sure that you use something that can give the earring a nice seal sealant. You know, you want it to be sealed because you don't want it to come loose or anything like that. If you make a decision to sell these or anything like that, you do not want it to come loose, okay? And even though I have that uh, fusible web in there, the more people use something, uh, the more of a chance it will have as far as coming loose, okay? So you just wanna get all the way around. And like I said, make sure you have yourself a tissue so you can wipe your fingers off just like that and so we're gonna let that dry and I will be back okay ladies and gentlemen so once our piece have dried this is the next step that we're going to do we're going to start we're going to add some holes okay now you need to add two holes on the side and you need to put a hole up at the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole right there push that through like that and pull it through, and then you have your hole right there. Next, I'm gonna put a hole right here on the side. Okay. And I am going to open up one of my jump rings, and I'm gonna put one of my jump rings through there. So I'm gonna push it all the way through. And then I'm gonna take my jump ring and push my jump ring through just like that. And that's pretty much what you're gonna have. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and I'm gonna to try to make sure I line that up. Push it through. and bring it through the other side. We wanna do the same thing with our jump ring. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna push this all the way through. And you can actually see the hole. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but you can actually see the hole where you are going to put the jump ring. And it goes through just like that. So here you have it. Okay, now you got your jump rings in. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna put a jump ring up at the top. So you're gonna open this up and you're gonna go ahead and put that jump ring through the hole that's up at the top. Just like that, bring that up. And then we're going to close that Just like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take another jump ring and we're going to put this jump ring up at the top of that jump ring. 
just like this. And we're going to go ahead and put on our fish hook. So I'm going to close this up because this is open. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to put that on. Might as well. I'm going to slide that on just like this. I'm going to turn it this way to the side so that the earring can hang that way. Okay, and then I'm going to close it up. Just like this. Okay, so this is all done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 12 gauge aluminum wire and I'm going to make a loop up at the top. And I'm gonna start rolling it down. I'm gonna use my fingers and start rolling it all the way down until I get the desired look that I would like. Well, the decide, desired shape, and that's going to be a circular shape. Okay. I have other videos that is going to, that are going to be coming, y'all, that has have to do with paper earrings. So be on the lookout for them. I know this isn't the one that I promised, but uh I that one is coming. I had to do some different things with it, but it will be coming. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, I think that's the right size. Okay, so now, and I know y'all, I forgot to mention, but you are going to need a glue gun, a hot glue gun as well. So I'm going to roll that all the way down. And basically what you want is you want to roll it all the way down until it looks about, just about like that. You want it to fit in between where you have your jump rings. Okay, and then I'm going to snip it right there and I'm going to make a loop just like that okay and I'm gonna put that right there in the middle of my earring but I'm gonna use my hot glue gun to do that so I'm going to take my hot glue gun I'm going to Put a generous amount in the middle of it just like that i'm going to take my piece and put it in there just like that okay and this is what you're going to have so far Okay, now you already got everything is already pretty much connected. Now we're going to go ahead and put on our chain. So basically, the way you do the chain is you want to take one piece. Now, I don't measure out my chain. I just go by according to how long I want it to be and how long I want it to hang. Okay, and basically, you want to take your chain and you want to put it on. Put it on as a matter of fact you want to push that through like that so you can have a little bit more so you want to bring that like that or we'll tuck it under and then you want to come on this side a little bit you want to bring that around a little bit you still want it to give you still want it to hang a little because you pretty much want both of your uh 
you want both of your earrings that you're doing this with you want it to to match up so you want the lengths of it to match up okay and then you're gonna come back over on this side And bring it just like that and I hope you can see what I'm doing and then you're gonna come back on this side and hook it just like that okay so that's pretty much what you're gonna have so you're gonna go you're gonna start on one side then you're gonna come on this side bring it back on this side and then bring it back on this side okay and then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here with my wire cutters snip that off just like that move that back and then I'm going to go in and close this off on both sides okay so you're gonna close this up and then you want to come on this side and close this up just like that okay and then last but not least we're going to go in and get one of our gems which is this one right here and we're going to take out E6000. This is the gem that I want. And I'm going to take my E6000. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom. And I'm going to place it right over top of right here. Now it might be a little glue coming out of there, but you can pop that off. And you want to place that right over top just like that let me put a little bit more because I don't think that's gonna stick okay that should be good just like that okay and then basically all you do ladies and gentlemen is you let that sit for a little bit and you'll have yourself a beautiful pair of earrings And here you have yourself two pair of beautiful poster board or post board or earrings. Okay. Don't forget that when you make these, don't forget to put some sealant or something. You can actually, if you want to, you can use some Marge Podge because Marge Podge is really good for um, sealing things too. So if you want to, you can use the Mod Podge. It's completely up to you. But I want to thank you all for watching today. And like I said, there are going to be more cardboard, uh, uh, cardboard paper, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> videos coming. Uh, so stay tuned because I'm going to be bringing you more. I'm going to give you all more ideas, okay? So those of you who are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell that is on the side so that when I upload my videos, you will be notified. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful and awesome day, everyone. Peace and blessings. See ya.